good morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, we are still in the process of trying to, to get caught up and get a few spring projects done that we wanted to have done a couple of weeks ago. But I did allude to one of the projects that uh, I've been working on and this guy is next. But I'm going to go ahead and um, get everything together and get started. It is a nice, cool, overcast day, perfect day to be out here and working on trimming some of these trees. But this one is next, and I have a special project in mind for the trimming. So hold on, and I'll be right back. Okay, now what I want to do is take a bunch of trimmings. I already have some from the forsythia bushes. I've got two big buckets full of of those cuttings. Now I want to take a big bucket full off of this one. This is a dappled willow. And you can see just how pretty this bush is. In the early spring, the tips of the branches, the leaves turn a really pretty pink. And they grow like crazy. Absolutely grow like crazy. This bush behind me has only been there about 18 months. And it has just turned into a big floofy thing. What I'm gonna do is I wanna train this to be a little bit taller up and kinda umbrella over the top. But I had left it so it would get nice and big and thick and full and I thought it would take a little bit longer, but no, they, they do really grow like gangbusters. But when you take trimmings off of any kind of willow, they are very aggressive, and uh, there are several different ways that you can do it. Now, forsythias are about the same, and it's about any kind of willow tree or willow bush, anything in the willow family. Now, you can just take the cuttings, and I'll, I'll show you how to do it, but you can take the cuttings, you can just put them in a bucket of water and do nothing else, and they will grow roots. Um, you can take a couple of the really small branches and strip the leaves off of them and cut them into little tiny pieces and put them in the water. That will help um, root just about anything else. Um, we have done a video in the past on willow water, which is literally what that is. It does help. Um, like the forsythias will... They will root on their own in water, but if you put a little bit of, of the little willow snips in there, it will happen even faster. Now, of all of the ones that I'm going to do today, you can, like I said, literally just put them in water. You can just stick them in a bucket of dirt and just make sure that it stays moist for, you know, a couple of weeks. Just keep it wet. You can use a rooting hormone like root tone. Um, you can use the willow water. You can just stick them in the ground, right where, just anywhere. And they will, they will eventually grow roots. Now it will take a little bit longer and you will have to keep it wet, but it will work. But I'm gonna go get all of my, my little handy snips and a nice bucket of water. And we're gonna get started on this one. And I am not a professional. This is just a lot of fun. And I have that, that one big fence over here that I want to um, replace all of the trees that were hit by lightning and killed. So, yeah. It is a big project, but it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I like to do things like this. So, hold on, and uh, we'll get started. Okay. Um, got my snippers and a bucket of water over here in my cart. And I'm going to just start by taking off um, the branches that are hanging out the furthest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these smaller ones off and strip this about, I don't know, about a foot. 
I'm going to snip these ends just a little bit. And I'm just going to leave it like that. That is how it's going to go into the bucket. And believe it or not, when, when you try to propagate these guys, you only need to put like two or three of these in, in a cup or, or a pot and they will turn into that. That was only a couple of these not that long ago. But I'm going to just go over here and start snipping and get as many as I can. Now all of, all of these... You do basically the same thing when you want to make the water. You strip all the leaves off of it and then cut it into little pieces and just put that in, in your water bucket and it will help just about anything you want to root. But I'm going to go ahead and get cutting on this guy. So hold on and I'll put a little break in here. Okay, fun fact, I just cut this huge branch off. Now you can definitely use one this big. Just cut it the same exact way and it will root just like the little branches. So that is, that is a bush by itself. But, gotta get back to work.
Okay. <coughs> you allow for some chicken commentary. We are right here beside the chicken coops. But I know it looks a little harsh, but I did leave some of the longer ones up on top. And I left the center ones so that they will grow straight up and then just kind of umbrella out on the top. And I have cuttings all over the place over here. So, I'm going to get to trimming these up. Probably won't put that on, on film because, yeah, that's going to take me a while. I have quite a mess. Let's see if I can't move the camera and show you how many cuttings I have down there. Yeah, and there are some really, really big ones, and I'm going to keep all of the big ones, too. So, I'm going to just kind of walk around this one more time, make sure I got everything cut that I wanted. Then I'm going to get to getting all of these little trimmings up, cleaned up, and into the bucket. Okay, I have a full bucket of all different sizes. I've got some little ones, and I've got some taller ones. And I'm going to get these up to the house and up under the porch where they'll get just filtered sunlight for a little while. And I do have a little bit more of a mess of all the little trimmings. I will come back through and get some of those and um, snip them up and keep them so I can make some willow water. But I've got another tree of a different type, but also in the willow family that I'd like to get cuttings off of. So hold on. And um, I'm going to go get those too. Okay, this is another big tree in the willow family. And you can see she needs some of her bottom branches snipped off. So I'm going to take the opportunity to go ahead and propagate these two. Now this is part of the willow family. And it is just as easy to get them to take off. All you really need is a bucket of water and a little bit of patience. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of these bottom branches off so I can have more of these trees. Okay, I have a nice big stack of tree starts here, and I stripped them at the base. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys picked up and go over there in the bucket. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, this is my little treasure trove of cuttings up here under the porch. And I have a total of four buckets. These are the dappled willows. The forsythias, I have two buckets, the forsythias, and this bucket here is the tree I just cut and a couple of the really big dappled willows that I kept. Now keep in mind that the leaves may turn brown and fall off, but they will, as soon as they take to roots, they will put on new leaves. Now, not every plant is this easy to propagate, but these in particular are. So, I'm really excited. Now, I am going to have to keep an eye on them, make sure that the water level in the bucket stays high enough, and make sure that they get enough filtered sunlight. So, I'm <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and call this project done for right now. I'm going to keep an eye on them. And as soon as I see roots in the buckets, then it will be time to get these into pots. And when that time comes, I'll take you on that journey too. Okay, I am out here on the backfield. 
when I showed Mark all of the wonderful cuttings that I took, he suggested coming out and getting a few off of these trees. Now these are corkscrew willows. Yeah, I think I'd like to have about 10 or so cuttings off of these. So I'm going to go ahead and take a few snips. Those are big, beautiful trees. I don't know exactly how tall they are. Probably getting close to about 15 feet. Yeah, going to get me a few cuttings off of these and I'll be right back. All right, I have added 10 cuttings from these beautiful corkscrew willow trees. And they are going to sit here in this bucket with my dappled willows. But, yeah, what a wonderful suggestion. These trees are just so wonderful. Definitely like to have a few more of these in the yard. Okay, so that's all the footage that I have for today, and that was a fun project that I just was really excited to get started. Um, some plants are just so easy to propagate, but, you know, not not every plant is. Some of them are, are pretty stubborn and, and take quite a bit more than that. But I did also forget to mention that um, if you have forsythias, you can also root them right there at the plant. If you take a tip and pin it to the ground, it, it will root to the ground. Um, kind of learned that one just by tending and fussing over them over the years. Um, have had quite a few that have gotten so big that they just kind of towered over and um, touched the ground. And everywhere they touched the ground, they rooted back down. So, yeah, kind of a fun little, little note to add there. But I am going to go ahead and get on out of here. I do have a few other things that I've got to get done today. So um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm out here tearing something else up or, yeah, making a nice mess. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything along your mind, please put them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, that was a whole lot of work, a whole lot of fun. Can't wait to, to start getting those guys potted up. It will not take very long for them to go ahead and get some roots, and then I can get them put into pots and ready to go. It's a pretty big fence. Need quite a few. But I always cut plenty of extras because you, know, you can always have a, a, a place that just might need that perfect little beautiful dappled wool. So... Yeah, they tend to be my, one of my favorites in the spring when the leaves turn pink. But I have talked your ear off plenty enough. I am going to go ahead and get on out of here. Don't forget, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.